What is MLOps? Picture it as DevOps, DataOps and ModelOps combined. Automating processes to manage code, data and models for increased performance and efficiency. Let's look at a high level overview of traditional MLOps and picture three levels, right? We have source control for managing code on top. We have a lake house data layer at the bottom and between them we have a development, staging and production environments. A data scientist in the dev environment does exploratory data analysis or writes pipelines. When ready, these go into source control which is the key channel for pushing code to production. Now the lakehouse data layer at the bottom provides shared access with controls and bridging various tools and systems. For example, a data scientist might need the right access to production data but they shouldn't be able to alter it. As code moves towards the staging environment, it goes through continuous integration tests. And these tests ensure that the code works in isolation and of course alongside other pipelines and services that are in the production environment. When the tests are passed, the code moves to production. And here you can have multiple pipelines that were developed and tested. For example, data can be read into a feature table refresh job, which might feed a model retraining pipeline that regularly updates a model registry. Think of this registry as a repo for tracking model versions as they progress towards production. And then comes the continuous deployment pipeline, moving them towards production, where they're loaded into serving systems and start to be monitored. And that's traditional MLOps in a nutshell. It's like a production line for data, turning raw information into actionable insights.